Yo, 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 what is going on, everybody? How you doing? You know who this is. The Chosen One, Gabriel Skywalker from the DFS Club. Coming to you with another 11-game NBA slate. Um, today was, my God, today was was frustrating. I'll say that. Very frustrating. Just, just you know, we made all the right plays. Just bad luck, you know, bad luck. Um, yeah, for a six-gamer, what was it, a six-gamer? Yeah, it was pretty crazy. Um, the Paul George news. Um, these games are supposed to be blowouts. The Minnesota guys went off, you know. That's DFS. So if you didn't win, don't you dare be sour because this is why we play DFS, guys, because that just means every day is a new day. Um, if you're new, please hit that subscribe button. Hit that like button. I'm not trying to get to 100 likes on this video. We're getting closer and closer. Leave a comment down below because I'll be giving away $20 PayPal this Saturday, guys. But you have to be a subscriber. You have to hit the thumbs up. And then down below, uh, just tell me how you did tonight. Let me know. Um, let me know if you stacked up on Minnesota and totally took stuff down. Um, love to hear it. I love hearing from you guys. And, again, I really appreciate each and every one of you for the support. Shout out to the DFS Club. Shout out to Space, LT, all the new members. And all you guys, all right? Um, so let's get right into it. Yeah, I think it's a big 11-game slate, guys. And this is my sponsor, by the way, Draft Dashboard. You know what time it is. It's only $1 for 30 days. Click on the link in the description below. You yourself can have the best optimizer on the freaking planet. You got NFL, NBA, NHL coming soon, guys. I know you're looking forward to that. You get access to all my save lineups, all my watch players, the optimizer, uh, player trends, sleepers and suds, the position optimizer, which breaks down every single player, slate by slate, and the NBA cheat sheet, because if you can't win, cheat. Got the best scrubs, best mid-tier, best value, best studs, you name it. Draft dashboard is the truth. All right, so let's get you know what i pretty much know the injuries in my head i mean some still to be determined but let's go to the position optimizer here we'll start let's start at point guard today um so james harden coming in at 11k so way too expensive with everybody else healthy if john wall was out yeah i'd be like you know go ahead but 11k james harden i don't think we got to go there especially against indy who's really tough defensively russell westbrook 10-2 you know, you know what you get out of Russ. Um, he's getting, I'd say that's almost cheap. He's almost at that nine, nine K range. So he's getting down there. Just his usage rate guys, 32% last game, 37 minutes. He gets about 37 to 40 minutes a game. Um, even against Philly here, uh, a tough defensive team, but you can't guard Russ. You can't guard him. So yeah, guys, Russell Westbrook, get him in there. And then Trey Young going up against Charlotte. Charlotte cannot block no guards, especially Trey Young. He's 9'6", 55, 38, 42 in his last three. Um, last time against, look what he does to Charlotte, guys. This is very important right here, the important info. 62 and a 52, guys, in his last two. So, Ice Trey, get him in there. I'm going to go kind of quick because there's so many players that 11 gamers, so. Take, get out your pens and pencils and take some notes, okay? Um, next up, De'Aaron Fox at 8.2K. I think is really cheap, guys. Um, 41, 36, 47 in his last three. He knows he's going to get 30-plus minutes. I love this game, guys. Stacking this game. Sacramento and Chicago. The Sacramento Queens. But last time against Chicago, 40, 30, 49, and a 10. I don't know what that 10 was about, but. Yeah, De'Aaron Fox has been pretty solid this year. Four games ago, he had that 16. But other than that, 340 burgers, which were almost 50 burgers, and then a 36. So at 8-2 on an 11-game slate, De'Aaron Fox, get him in there. How about Malcolm Brogdon, huh? 8K, absolutely love this play. Um, I don't like buying on players that are, you know, really, really hot. But 45 minutes last game, guys. 45 minutes. The game before that, 41 minutes. The minutes are there. 54, 58 fantasy points, guys. Going up against Houston should be a competitive game, man. Malcolm Brogdon, 8K. Get him in there. Next up, um, I, for these uh, 
Cleveland guards, I think Okoro will be back. But I still think Colin Sexton, even though he got us right in the old prison pocket last slate, he's only 7'2". Again, he should get a bump. He still had a 30% usage rate. He just didn't really have that good of a shooting game. He still played 38 minutes. Give this man another 38-minute game, guys. He'll get you in the 40s, hopefully a 50. 30, 41, 39, 30, 32. So he's just kind of been all over the place, but all you can do is play the matchups. Uh, next up, Kobe White versus them Sacramento Queens. He's 6'8", 38, 20, 40 in his last three. Um, alongside Zach Levine, man, both of these, these guys work very well together. And his usage rate is 26, 27, 22 in his last three. It depends on the game flow, guys. He got 40 minutes three games ago, 28, and then 32. So as long as the game stays close, he should get anywhere between 35, dare I say, 40 minutes. So get him in there. Next up, LaMelo Ball. That's right. 6K. They haven't touched his price, which is really surprising. 37, 37, 32 in his last three. This is an absolute lock, guys. 30 minutes a game. Uh, projected to get 40 fantasy points at 6K, guys. He's going to crush this salary. So, so far, I'm liking Brogdon. Really, I'm really liking Brogdon, LaMelo Ball. I'm going to go back to Darren Rose. Darren. Derek Rose um, called him out in our members only podcast last time they played went off and got a 42 and only 24 minutes guys Derek Rose doing Derek Rose things um, however with this Detroit team I got to see who's in and who's out if they're really shorthanded again now I know Blake Griffin is back um, so Josh Jackson's back so he might not have that many uh, shots as he did last time right Look at his usage rate, guys, when he plays. Over 30% every time. I love when he comes off the bench. 35, 34, 31. And the last time he played Milwaukee, guys, he got 42 fantasy points. So Derrick Rose, sneaky, sneaky. Get him in there, guys. And then, of course, John Wall. Love to go here, especially coming off a bad game. That's when he knows ownership's going to be lower. He's way too cheap at 7-4. Yeah, you know. Dare I say, I mean, he has just as much upside as a 9K player, maybe even a 10K player. He still plays 33, 37, 36 minutes a game. Um, going up against Indy, though, they're tough defensively, but it's John freaking Wall, guys. And he's only 7'4". Before that, 25, he had a 51 and a 46. Get him in there. Let's see. Next up. So, again, we got to look at these Boston guys, right? we got to make sure Rozier's out, Ro Terry Rozier uh, and Jeff Teague, right? If both of them are out, roll out again with Peyton Pritchard because we already know the rotation looked like. He's only 4.6K, got 32 minutes, 37 fantasy points. And, again, at 4.6, that's pretty much a no-brainer. If Rozier, if Teague are out, Pritchard is the play, guys. Um, if one of them, like, let's say – Marcus Smart is in, probably not much, probably not so much. But if Jeff Teague is in, I might still take some shots because he's still cheap, guys. Uh, Sweet Lou. So this game's going to be interesting. So Paul George missed tonight. We already know that Kawhi do, does not play back-to-back -back games. He hasn't played a back-to-back -back game in three years. So if Paul George is out, too, and Kawhi sits – which I think they might do because it's Golden State, right? They figure that they can beat this team without without their two studs. Brought with Sweet Lou with with confidence, four point four k. Um, even if Paul George plays and Kawhi sits out, I still like Sweet Lou, guys. Um, you got twenty plus fantasy points tonight and pay off that four k price tag. He's still too cheap, guys. He goes off against Golden State. His last two, 38 and a 40 burger. So, you know, he hasn't had a good year, but it's kind of hard. You got so many miles to beat on this Clippers team. Paul George, Kawhi, they just take all the shots. But if they're both out, that's a no-brainer. But, if it, again, if one of them's out, you can go to the Sweet Lou for some savings. Because so far, the night before, there never is really a lot of value. So, um, Corey Joseph. With uh, Halliburton, you know, the guy that sounded like a, a goddamn nuclear plant or something, the Halliburton project. Um, if he's out again, which I think he is, Corey Joseph should be a nice 3.9K player. He'll come off the bench, get about 22 to 28 minutes, 
Um, and a close game with Chicago, guys. He's only 3-9, just scoring dependent, right? We already know we get with uh, Mr. Joseph here, but if, it, if his shots are dropping, man, slate breaker. All right, so that said, let's go to shooting guard. All right, and you know what? Whereas Schroeder hasn't come by yet, Schroeder's right here sleeping on the couch. So if he doesn't come by, I do apologize. Um, so James Harden, Bradley Beal. I don't think we got to go Bradley Beal. I don't think we got to pay up um, for him. However, I do like Zach Levine because this game, I think, is going to be fire. 8.3K could easily be a 9K player, guys. This guy's putting up 60. I didn't see how he did tonight. Probably did pretty good, but. 60, 29, 41, 46, 53, guys. Against Sacramento, don't play no defense against guards. Get them in there at 8.3K, $200 cheaper on Fandle. Next up, again, if all them if Boston players are out, you can roll back out with Jalen Brown. Got us right in the old prison pocket again. But, but, look at his history against Miami. 49, 43, 39, 50, 32. Sneaky, sneaky. I think his ownership will go down because he's 8-1, and he only got 30 fantasy points, only 36 before that. So get him in there, guys. Um, let's see. Victor Oladipo, 7K. His price doesn't budge. Money in the bank, man. That's, that's what I call him, money in the bank. This is the Victor Oladipo of old. I never thought we'd see him like this again. 34, 37, 35 minutes, guys. 28% usage rate. Uh, he's only 7K. 7K going up against Houston. Uh, two games ago, he had a 51 against them. So, all the depots, money in the bank. Get him in there, guys, at at 7K. And what is he on FanDuel? $200 more. Uh, let's see. Terrence Ross. So, Fournier is out. You can roll right back out with some Terrence Ross. He's still under 6K. That's fine for me. Um, he'll get about 30 minutes and hopefully about 30 or more fantasy points. Terrence Ross does nothing but take shots, 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 shots. So T Ross, get him in there. Eric Gordon's had two good games in a row, but I can't do it guys. Not at five, seven, not with the team fully healthy. God bless you. If you play him and he pays that off. I mean, I, if that, that's how I lose, that's how I lose. I can accept that. Um, and Luke Kennard could be in play. So, Paul George, Kawhi. So, Luke Kennard got the start tonight for Paul George. He's only 4.1K. If he gets the start again, definitely in play against Golden State, guys. Luke Kennard, they're paying him all this money. So, get him in there. Real interested. That's going to be the, the whole news of the slate is going to be the Boston news and definitely the Clippers news. Let's go to small forward. So Kawhi, again, he hasn't played a back-to-back -back in three years, so if he does, I would be shocked. Um, Jason Tatum also gets a bump if those Boston guys are out again at 9K. Look at this, almost 260 burgers in a row and only 31 and 36 minutes. Look what this man's done against Miami, 57, 57, 52, 56. Jason Tatum. You got to find ways to get him in there, guys. 9K against Miami. Get him in there. And then Brandon Ingram's only 8-4, man. Was still, still way too cheap. Um, and this should be a competitive matchup against OKC. 54, 47, 35 in his last three. This man in a close game will get 40 minutes. His usage rate, 35, 31, 28%, guys. Brandon Ingram. LA is like kicking themselves for getting rid of him. Get him in there, guys. Um, let's see. Gordon Hayward's in play because I like the matchup against Atlanta. 7.4K. Whenever I play Gordon Hayward, he gets me right in the old the old uh, prison pocket, right in the old uh, brown starfish. You know what I'm saying? Um, but the matchup's too good. Last time against Atlanta, he did get a 44. Um, usage rate, 22%. Projected at 33.1 early projections, so he's definitely in play at 7.4K. Next up, Harrison Barnes at 6'1", guys. The 30 to 40 point machine 
again in a good game against Chicago, should get a ton of minutes. He only got 29 minutes last game in a in a pretty close game. No, the Warriors beat their ass. That's exactly what happened. Beat them. Beat the brakes off him, but he still got 33 fantasy points. So the game stays close. Harrison Barnes, even at 6-1, is all it's gonna be in play for me. He's only gotten under 30 fantasy points one game this season. One. I pointed that out in the, the members only podcast. People didn't believe it. I said, look it up. And sure enough, DeAndre Hunter is very interesting at 5.4K. No Dano Gallinari if he's out. Hunter's been on a tear, 38, 32, 34. Look at the minutes last game, 37, 30, 31. You know, with Dan O'Gallinari out at 5-4, I don't know how you get away from De'Aaron Hunter tomorrow, guys. It's going to be hard to. Otto Porter, 6-5, had a good game again tonight. Um, look for another good game against some Sacramento Queens. 6-5 is a little steep. Actually, it's very steep. More of a fan will play for me. Um, but a good play nonetheless. So if you like me, you play those turbos and like night slates, maybe you can get him in there. Next up, Darius Baisley at 5.8K. Just when I given up on this kid, he gets 36 and 42 fantasy points in his last two games, 25 and 32 minutes. Not bad. He gets, you know, New Orleans. So again, I like the matchup. I, I think it's going to be a close game. Get him in there. Next up, Kelly Oubre. Did he find his groove? I think he is, guys. I think he's starting to find his groove. His, his shots are finally starting to drop. He's only 5.5K, 33, 29 in his last two. So 5.5, guys, if he gets 30, that's beautiful. And that's all you want. And this could be a close game. If Kawhi and Paul George are out, this game will be close. Don't you dare be sour because my Warriors are going to they're gonna take it to them, guys. Don't underestimate them. Just don't. Just think of Draymond gets full run, right? Oh, uh, yeah. We already went over Luke Kennard. Um, Okoro at 4K. I don't know, guys. With with Cleveland being so shorthanded, if he gets a start, I would play him. That's it. Start only, I'd play him. I would play Chetty the Cheese this slate, but he's priced way too high. I don't trust him at that price tag. But if Okoro gets a start at 4K, I mean, he's worth a look. All right. So, don't you dare be sour. Clap your hands and feel the power. We're going to power forward, guys, because it's a new day. Yes, it is. Giannis Antetokounmpo, still under 11K. Broke the slate last time with that 62, 65, 67. I don't know how you not play him every game. The only thing you got to worry about here is the blowout. But as you've seen tonight, all games were close pretty much. So um, you can't really rely on that. But this man beats the brakes off of Detroit like he does everybody else. 62, 68, 51, 52, 67, guys. Giannis has, especially the last last three games, has really turned it up. Get him in there at 10, 9. $500 more on Fandle. Next up, Julius Randle's 9.5. He's $500 cheaper on Fandle. Man, he's getting up there, right? But the minutes, you know, are going to be there. 43 minutes last game. And New York has surprised a lot of people this season. A lot. They're actually a pretty good team. His usage rate, 30%. Last time against Utah, got a 47 burger. And Utah is number one in the league defensively against power forward. So, I don't know. I'll have to think about that one. Next up, too, Sabonis, right? He got in foul trouble last game. And still got 35 minutes, but 47. Now, you're paying 9K for a player. You want at least 50, 60-point upside. Can Sabonis get you there? Absolutely. He's in a great matchup against Houston. They're ranked 27th in the league against power forward. So, he shouldn't get in the foul trouble. But it is the NBA. You never know, right? So, But get him in there, guys, at 9-2. Let's see. We already went over them. Chris Boucher is worth a shot at 5-2. Comes off the bench. Gets anywhere between 20 and 28 minutes, right? 26, 38, 25. He's a very safe play at 5-2. I'll just put it to you that way. He's safe. Um, uh-oh. Uh-oh. Wait a minute. Who, who do we got here? King Schroeder. 
I knew you'd come. Yes, look at King Schroeder had to come say hi, guys. If you're new, this is Schroeder Skywalker. He helps us out, and he's going to start doing triple-double picks because he was doing them last season, and I saw in the comments a lot of you guys are like, why doesn't Schroeder do his triple-double picks? So I'm going to try and fit him in. I just try and keep my videos under 30 minutes because, you know, you guys ain't got that much time to watch videos. So if you guys demand that we do Schroeder's picks and NBA doing his triple-double calls, let me know in the comments below, all right? If, if you if you want the, the videos to be about five minutes longer, let me know. We can make it happen. All right, Schroeder. So we were just talking about Boucher. And Kelly Olenek's not bad. If you want to take a shot, he's 4-4. Um, 32, 24, 33. Another safe play, guys. Really safe play. And he's been getting more minutes this year. Consistently, 27, 28, 29. Um, Kelly O, man, you give him minutes, he'll go off. I love this price tag at 4-4, and I definitely think you should get him in there. Normally, I play three lineups. I give my members three lineups for each site. I might do four. There's just so many good plays. Um, Aaron Gordon, what I tell you all last video, hopefully you guys played him. Even though it was a blowout, he still got 27 minutes. He got 45 fantasy points. And let me tell you, I'm not surprised. If you guys have a short memory, remember he was doing last year, 40s, 50s. He can do it. A debt 6-4, I think he's at a full go now, guys. Um, get him in there. Aaron Gordon and his new hair. He has hair this year. Look at that, that beautiful golden. That's like my hair, man, all curly and thick. But, yeah, guys, Aaron Gordon's the truth. Get him in there. Your dad be sour. Draymond Green at 5-2. If the game wasn't a blowout, I don't know. I think he might have got 27 minutes again. Draymond Green at 5'2", if he gets 30 minutes, guys, you're talking about some slate-breaking stuff. I'll just put it to you that way. Slate-breaking. So we'll keep our eyes on that. We'll see what, what that idiot cur of a coach says. But we'll keep our eyes on it because he's only 5.2K. Uh, Thad Young had a good night tonight. Comes off the bench, 4.6K. He had 25 fantasy points tonight. So I believe he was about to close the game too. So just saying at 4-6, definitely a FanDuel play it. He's $500 cheaper on FanDuel. It's hard to fade him on FanDuel, guys. And who else do we got? Akora, we already went over him. So let's go to center. All right, so center, we got Joel Embiid. He's under 10K again, guys. Um, 45, 46, 40 in his last three. So for Joel Embiid, for 9.9, for .9, you want these 50s and 60s. You know he can get. I don't see anybody on Washington that can guard him. I really don't. Last five versus Washington, 52, 58, 46, 54, 62. I mean, his ownership will probably be low, right, because of these low-ass scores um and he only played 24 minutes last game but look at that 24 minutes 45 fantasy points the dude's amazing joel Embiid, who got me that takedown last week get him in there guys but i had him at one percent busevich guys 8.7k how many times i gotta tell you this man's the truth 47 52 in his last two guys and he only plays about 31 and 35 minutes uh last game against cleveland 30 Sorry, 47 fantasy points. Another great play, guys. Get him in there. Drummond at 8-6 is kind of cheap. This is really tempting. I know he's been a head case this year. I know he's been benched. Just so much baggage with him, right? But when he's on, he's on. And you know damn well he's due. 8.6K. The only thing that scares me, the last two against Vooch, he hasn't done that well. 39-32. But he also has that 61. So I think it'd be a nice, nice bounce back spot for Drummond at 8.6. And I'm definitely going to see what the ownership is. And bam out of Bayou, guys. If last game would not have blown out, he would have got 40 to 50. He got 28 minutes, 36 fantasy points. Look for the same again. Last time he faced Boston, guys. Look at this. 60, 6, 0. So I, I assume a lot of people are going to go to Drummond 
Vucevic. So Bam out of Bayou, you should be able to get him in like single digit ownership in a total crush spot there. Next up, Christian Wood at 7 7. Still, still not bad. Hopefully the ownership comes down because he had that 34 point fantasy game. It happens, right? Um, 32, 33, 31 minutes projected at 29.6 is usage rate 30%. So Christian, I got morning wood, get him in there. Next up, another one who should have balled out today, but what the hell happened to Utah? They lost by like 50. Gobert would have had a 50 point game easily, but just hope to God this game stays close. Utah looked like, looked like the hair on my baby's mama's back. It was that ugly, guys. But, yeah, Go Bears always in play. Always a safe play at 7-6. Clint Capella, 6-7. Still too cheap in my book. Especially against Charlotte, guys. 30, 30, 20. So 30 points a game. Last time against Charlotte, he got 41 fantasy points. Before that, a 53. Clint Capella, $200 cheaper on FanDuel, too. Get him in there. Miles Turner, 6-3. Too cheap. Coming off a 28 fantasy point game. Another safe play, guys. But he gets Houston. Last time against Houston, he got 41 fantasy points. Yeah. Miles Turner at 6'3. He's priced the hell, the hell up on FanDuel. They got him $1,100 more. So definitely more of a DraftKings play. Miles Turner, man. Get him in there. We already went over Kelly O. Rashawn Holmes. I think he's worth another look. Right, he he burned a lot of people that last slate. I wasn't one of them. I just had a bad feeling, but we talked about him in the members only podcast. Rashawn Holmes at five nine. I I go back here. Just the matchups too damn good against Chicago guys. Ranked thirtieth in the league against centers. Thirtieth. Last time he played him, he got thirty seven fantasy points, and he's only five nine. People hold grudges. When they shouldn't, so his ownership should be down. You get him at a discounted rate at five nines, four hundred dollars more on FanDuel. Get him in there, guys. And let me just talk here for a minute about Boogie Cousins. This man played two minutes. Oh, I'm spitting two minutes last game, and he got ejected. But in that two minutes, he got eleven fantasy points. Let that sink in. Two minutes, eleven fantasy points. So at four three. I'm willing, to, I'm willing to my, I'll have some shares. I will have some shares. If he gets 15 minutes, he can get you a 30 easily. Boogie Cousins at 4-3. I mean, let's say, for instance, like, uh, you know, Wood gets in foul trouble or something. Then you're really sitting pretty with Boogie Cousins. But you all know how he is. He's a hothead. He talks a lot of shit. So he got ejected. But still, two minutes, 11 fantasy points is outstanding. Last time against Indy, he got 43 fantasy points. He also had a 6-4 against him. So, who knows, guys? Maybe he'll get the start. But keep your eye on Boogie. And then my value play is Kim Birch at 3-7. I kind of been playing him all year. 22, 15, 24 minutes, which is pretty decent for a guy that's 3-7. Coming off a 34-point, excuse me, fantasy game. Going up against Cleveland. Should not be a bad matchup. Just don't expect much, right? At 3-7, if he gets you at least 20, that's good. That's golden. And that's going to do it, guys. That's going to do it for the picks. Let me see where we're at here. 28. So, guys, if you want access to all my lineups, all my cheat sheets, the projections, the ownership, DFS space is also in there, guys. DFSclub.com. I'm going to hammer this home every video, guys. Because we're the cheapest in the industry, and it's not even close. And you get every single sport. You get DFS Space. Shout out to Space. Shout out to LT. We got some sharks in here, ladies and gentlemen. Because we're the best in the business. 400-plus members. Growing by the day. NBA, NFL, MLB, PGA, NHL, tennis, NASCAR, soccer, eSports, MMA, WNBA, college sports, EuroLeague basketball. Click join now. We got a EuroLeague uh, basketball slate on Thursday coming up. Click on my logo, Skywalker DFS, and we are the cheapest in the industry, guys. This is all these are for every single sport. Not one, not two, every team. There is no packages here. I don't believe in freaking packages. 
People selling you packages are selling you a, a bunch of goods. I'll just say that. Not good goods, but some fugazis. We're the best in the business. We have the best family in the business. Shout out to you guys. These members only podcasts are absolutely fire. Um, so come join us, guys. We'd love to have you. DFSclub.com. All right, y'all. So that's going to do it right at 30 minutes. So I'm going to say a prayer for everybody. God bless you. God bless your families. God bless your pets. Say it with me. Let's get this bread. Don't take shit from nobody. Absolutely nobody. My name is Gabriel Skywalker. Again, thank you so much. Trying to get the 5K subs by the end of the month. Again, qualify for that contest. You have to you have to subscribe, thumbs up. I'm going to try to get to 100 likes this video and comment down below. How did your night go? All right. My name is Gabriel Skywalker. I love you guys. Take care.